First off, this is crooked. I know, and I'm sorry, but I'm in Georgia. I'm like an hour outside of Atlanta. I'm actually driving home from Playlist Live. Fun fact. <laughs> I could have flown, but I made kind of a last minute decision. I go to school in Indiana. I was going to drive from school five hours home to where I live near Detroit. And then I was going to fly from Detroit to Orlando. And then I was just kind of like, fuck it. Like two days before, and I was like, I'm gonna drive. So I literally got in my car the Monday before playlist. I was supposed to get there Wednesday. Got there Wednesday by driving. <laughs> so now I am on my long ass drive back. It's really not that bad. Like I'm someone that loves being in the car and just like, chillin yes this is going to be a get ready with me but i have done my eyeshadow and my lashes and my brows but i'm literally about to show you exactly what i used i hate doing eyelashes so much and i like refused to do them on camera so i have my jeffree star blood sugar palette acting as my mirror for this because the actual mirror in the hotel is there but i wanted good lighting for this situation so i'm making do with this i'm going to take my blood blood sugar blood sugar palette to show you colors that i used so here she is as you can see i really like this color glucose it's just like white as fuck that is what i did for like the base of all over my eye this in my waterline is actually a nyx faux white eyeliner and this is in the color seashell it's a nice pretty little pink if it wants to fucking focus I also have a blue one, I might as well show you because I've been loving these, I've been wearing them a lot and a lot of people, um, not in YouTube, but like in real life, have been like, oh my god, what is that? So I also have it in the shade, oh this is shade 7, which is seashell, and this is shade 8, which is white smoke, which is more of like a bluish purple. These are so nice, they stay under your eye literally all day and it's everything. Then I went in with Safe Word in this palette, but then this palette is so gross and like fucked up, I know, I'm a disgrace. Literally, Anna Anastasia and Norvina are shook and they're on stretchers right now and they don't know why and it's because this palette somehow got so fucked up but um sorry I got really distracted but I used the color safe word all over kind of like my crease and as you can see it almost looks orange I used this shade cake mix I adore this palette I can't wait to use like all of the purples I'm just a pussy Sorry if you can like see it down here. I literally just like need a mirror to look in, you know? I wore this shirt to bed, so I literally do not give a fuck if I get shit all over it. So recently, ow, recently, and by recently, I literally mean the day that I was supposed to arrive in Florida, and I did arrive in Florida. I stayed in Jacksonville the night before, which is only like an hour or two from Orlando, and I woke up that morning and I was like, I'm out of foundation. I usually use the Fenty foundation. Where is she? I'm just like showing you guys all my makeup, but it's fine. I'm very picky when it comes to makeup, so I feel like if I recommend something to you guys, like I'm not just doing it because, I'm doing it because I'm obsessed with it. This is the foundation I use all the time, but it is starting to run out. This is Fenty Beauty in the shade 150. Jesus Christ. <laughs> And I'm just plugging this because I'm obsessed with it. None of this is sponsored, by the way. Literally, like, who would sponsor me? This is my favorite primer of all time. I'm not going to be using it today because I'm going to be in a lot of heat. And it just adds, like, another layer of, like, ugh. But this primer is everything. It's the Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer. A thousand percent would recommend this. I would be using it right now, but I am kind of in this, like, stage where I'm figuring out which one of these I like more. So, when I was getting foundation, which... I'll move on to it in a minute. Uh, they were out of my Fenty foundation at that Jacksonville Sephora. I was like, okay, I need a setting spray. And I bought, you know, my new setting spray that I needed. Then I also was like, well, I've been so kind of like intrigued by the idea of primers that you just like missed on your face. And I always thought that this Smashbox primer water was like too good to be true. Like they're literally selling water. Um, where are the ingredients? I threw away the box but you know, you can Google the fucking ingredients online. Um, so I picked this up and as I was walking over to the Urban Decay section to pick up the setting spray that I have desperately been needing, because I have been using a NYX setting spray, which works bomb, but the Urban Decay one is just like, mm, I love her. So I needed to get her. I saw this and it's an Urban Decay quick fix. Apparently this is a Hydra charged complexion prep priming spray. Basically like their competition to the Smashbox primer water or like MAC prep and prime spray or whatever whatever the fuck you call that. My friend Carrie, if you've seen any of the videos I've done with my roommates, she <laughs> always jokes that this or like the MAC Prep and Prime is literally water. And for all we know, it could be. But I mean, look, there's bubbles and usually there aren't bubbles like that with water. So there's gotta be something else in there, but like, 
conspiracy theory they're just selling us tap water this is um, supposed to be used before moisturizer or makeup apparently it can also be used anytime to refresh skin or at night before you do any type of skin treatment I really liked everything that this had to say and I was like I'm probably gonna like this more than this just because of all the things that this boasts but then I sprayed it you guys there's one smell on this planet that I don't fuck with and so many people fuck with this smell but I don't at all and that's coconut and this stuff smells very strongly of coconut and so <laughs> I was putting on my makeup with my friend Taylor the other day at playlist and I was like yeah I'm not sure like which one I'm gonna return yet and I used this one because I was so confident I was gonna love it just the smell man I can already smell it without opening it I'm gonna use it today though because why the fuck not Sephora is so good about returns anyway that like that you can, you know, try it a few times and then return it, which I love because if Sephora and Ulta didn't have such chill return policies, we would all be so fucked. Okay. Oh my god, it literally smells like you're being choked to death by a coconut. Literally, it's like a nightmare scene. Like you are just laying down like on the beach somewhere, like living your life. Then all of a sudden you're being surrounded by coconuts and they're slowly inching towards you and then they like choke you to death. Isn't there like a children's story about like a giant who got like held down by a bunch of normal sized people? Like that's you, but with, you know, all the coconuts holding you down. This is what this smells like. Like I can handle a small scent of coconut, but this is insane. So if you love coconut, I recommend this, but it's just the smell. So let's see, this is only my second time trying it how I feel. I'm literally trying not to breathe. Okay, it didn't seem that overwhelming this time around. Maybe it's because I wasn't expecting it the first time, but the still is definitely still here. It's almost kind of mixed with vanilla now that I'm really thinking about it, and it's not horrible. Maybe I'm just very dramatic, but we knew I was very dramatic. Literally, it's like a nightmare scene that all of a sudden you're being surrounded by coconuts. I like don't trust that this spray is like priming my face well. Do you know what I mean? Should I use them both? I'm gonna be extra as fuck and use them both. I love the smell of this. <laughs> I accidentally literally just sprayed it like right here, and fuck, I love the smell. I'm gonna do a little bit of chest too. My friend Asia like laughs at me whenever I put foundation on my chest But it's cuz literally my chest is white as fuck. Gotta wet my little beauty blender. I'll be right back This chair hates me. I love spinny chairs, but I don't in situations like this. This is not diet cock Unfortunately, it's diet poopsie. So before I decided that I was driving to Florida I actually had a Sephora package shipped to my house with a brand new Fenty Beauty foundation in my shade and a Marc Jacobs foundation because I've always wanted to try this so when I went to that Sephora in Jacksonville desperately needing makeup before arriving at playlist even though according to the Sephora app they're supposed to have both shades of both of those foundations in stock and I was just gonna return the package I got from Sephora you know once I got home but they were out of Fenty Beauty in my shade and they were out of the Marc Jacobs foundation in the shade that I thought I was I kind of like swatched them and I was like I have no fucking clue so I settled on this one this is shade 14 which is ivory medium Medium, and this one is a lighter shade and after using this I'm like positive that the one I ordered to my house is going to be way Way too dark. So should be interesting. Anyone else feel like they have to put their hair like literally back when they put on foundation? First of all look at how great this foundation is. I love it. Fuck, I just literally got foundation all over my eyebrow. I love being a dumbass. I'll fix that in a minute. <laughs> the coverage is insane. Like, it feels to me much like the Kat Von D foundation, but the Kat Von D foundation is very full coverage. You look, okay, really? I hate when one hair just like won't cooperate. Like, as much as I love that foundation, you feel like you're wearing paint on your face and it's heavy. I'm one of those bitches that sets my face like 8,000 times, so don't mind me. And yes, I'm literally setting the foundation into my brows, whatever. Urban Decay All Nighter. I feel like I've mentioned this in a video before, but I also feel like when I've been editing a Get Ready With Me before, I cut this part out because I felt like I was talking too much, which I'm probably gonna wanna do when I edit this. I'm gonna be like, bitch, are you ever gonna stop talking? But one time, a couple years ago, I was at a party and this is when like I could do eyeliner like pretty well. I don't even attempt it anymore because I suck. One of my friends, she's much taller than me. And so she kind of like stepped weird and her drink was like at my eyes level and it just kind of like boop. 
Ow. I hope I did not- Did I really just say ow? There was no reason to say ow. But I hope I didn't fuck anything up. I just touched my face. But my friend accidentally <laughs> spilled her drink in my eye and I had eyeliner on. Probably some eyeshadow and um, mascara and all of that. And like my mascara got a little, you know, like wet looking. But my eyeliner, man, nothing happened to it. And I used a fuck ton of the Urban Decay Nighter that night. And the next morning, I'm so ratchet. The next morning I was going to be driving from school in Indiana back home to Michigan, which is a five hour drive. I remember waking up. This is when I lived alone and I was just like the laziest piece of shit. I woke up and I was just like, this is fine. And I took off all my foundation, but I had eyeliner and like mascara still on from the night before. And I drove home and I got home the next day and my eyeliner and mascara looked fine. Literally after getting a drink spilled on it. And I remember the first time I ever got this uh, spray, it was like for Christmas. My grandma got it for me and I told my grandma that story and she was like, well, I'm glad you like it. But I guess I'm going to use my brow whiz. Or is this the brow definer? No, this is the brow definer. I like to use the brow definer. The difference is literally just that the brow definer is thicker. She thick. And like, look how much thicker this is. Like, if you have a brow whiz, like, you'll probably understand, you know, how this is thicker. But, um, I like it because I, like, literally when I come right out of the shower, it looks like I don't have any eyebrows. I literally look like a naked mole rat. Because, like, even though this is my natural hair color, leg hair, eyebrow hair, it's just, like, blonde. And you just, like, cannot see it. Which is nice, right? Like, I don't really ever have to shave my legs as quickly as other people because you just can't tell. Ain't that bad, but that also means I gotta fill in my brows every day damn day so yeah i've considered getting them microbladed but like that just kind of scares the shit out of me i don't know now my brows look fucking almost black because i'm doing it over foundation the good thing about makeup is there's always something you can do to save the day i do have a photo shoot today uh, i really like to do photo shoots while i travel taylor and i did one in orlando we actually just got some of the pictures back last night um not all of them yet i guess i'll address all of those questions in a feature future video and just kind of tell you guys how you can have an Instagram as poppin' as mine. Because I'm not that confident about many things, but I'm telling you right now, my Instagram is on point. Don't try to tell me it's not, okay? Those are all pictures taken by professional ass photographers. Besides the one at Disney World, Taylor took that. But that was also taken on portrait mode on like an iPhone X. So basically it was taken by a professional photographer. Does this brow look remotely normal? You know, I fucking plucked them the other day and they're just making their way through into, I don't know. Eyebrows are usually like the last thing I do is like a finishing touch. Like, let me fuck these up even more. We'll see. Uh, I saw Courtney and Katie Marmo. They're twins and they're both so fucking gorgeous. I can't get over it. When I met them, I didn't say anything because I didn't want to be a creep, but I was really proud of myself for being able to tell who was Courtney and who was Katie. Mm. Okay, guess it's time for concealer. This is the part I hate because it means I got to kind of raise my eyebrows and that's usually when the crease forms in my foundation. God, I love beauty blenders. They're just like the most unreal fucking invention. Like the way that shit just blends into your skin. It's like, is this real? Like did humans really invent this? Or was that what like the Roswell crash was? I love when you're like filming too much that your camera stops recording. But as I was saying, like conspiracy theory, the Roswell crash was aliens and they were coming to give us like new alien technology. But like it was this. It wasn't anything, you know, super exciting that most people might think. No, it was just this this beautiful fucking invention. They were like, listen, here you go. It's making all of our bodies look much better, putting themselves together better. I'm telling you guys, you know, bitches are gonna be looking much better if, you know, you make this available to the public. Oh, sorry, I should be mentioning like the shade. I use literally the lightest shade of shape tape that they sell. This is shade fair. Now time for Laura Mercier. And I was thinking about this the other day. I have had this since Christmas 2016. Okay, so if you see, you know, everyone using the Laura Mercier powder and you're like shit that is extremely expensive that shit is like $60 or something which is a lot of money I'm kind of setting a lot of my face because today's gonna be a long day <laughs> so expensive it is don't get me wrong $60 for some fucking powder it is so worth it because like here I am and I've never needed to repurchase it and it seems like I've got quite a bit left you can't tell I don't even know if I'm setting the same place twice you guys are probably watching this like Alina you already did that but here I am I never set my neck I don't know what I'm doing I'll use my like powder foundation to go down my neck but also i like to cake my the 
I can't talk. I like to cake the fuck out of my face. Like, if you know me, you know that I literally either... God, that's, like, sad. I was about to make a really fucked up joke, and then I was like, maybe I shouldn't. Anyways, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, I either cake the fuck out of my face, as I'm doing today, or I literally wear nothing. And by nothing, I mean maybe fill in my eyebrows the tiniest bit to the point where it looks like I have eyebrows, but it doesn't look like I've even filled them in because, like, I barely do it. So now I'm literally about to be extra as fuck and use more of this. Or if I'm going anywhere in public, I literally have nothing on my face, maybe the tiniest bit of eyebrows. I used to never go anywhere without mascara on, and now it's gotten to the point where, like, I don't even give a fuck about mascara. I'll walk around looking dead. It's fine. It's kind of the most liberating feeling in the world, honestly. I'm going to put powder foundation over all of this just to set it again. <laughs> I, like, sweat very easily and, like, shit like that, so I just like to really go in on the makeup. So, yeah, this is the powder foundation that I've been using for forever. As you can tell, it's a little ratchet. I have multiples of these. Revlon Color Stay Pressed Powder. Very cheap, would recommend. It's like a nice all over setting powder almost. This is in 810, which is the shade Fair. And this is the Sephora Pro Featherweight Powder Brush number 91. My friend Carrie will literally just like rub it on her skin. It feels so fucking nice. I don't know what happened to one of those bristles, but whatever. It makes everything stay even better. It just like, I'm not even kidding. Every time I do this and like watch it happen in the mirror, I'm like shook because it just adds the most perfect airbrushed finish like you oh, I hate how fucking pale does that help? Can you tell that I look fucking airbrushed and flawless now? <laughs> These are my two favorite brushes, and I'm not just saying that. For highlighting and contouring, I think it's very convenient to have like double-ended brushes like this. This one is from KKW Beauty. I only use this when I'm going to use her palette, which I'm about to contour with her palette. This is in light. She has two shades that come in here. This one is like for people who are, I'm assuming have like warmer skin. And even though my skin's kind of warm, like that's just too orange for me, so I always use this one i've used it quite a bit and it looks like i barely used it which is amazing i like to start here and then work my way down as you just saw because i've noticed when i start here i'll fucking make like this huge line that does not look natural at all i've heard recently that you should do like the contouring your face in the shape of a three i don't know why i keep going it's not cute. Does my contour look normal? I feel like it does. I used to like really be like a queen of like trying to do nose contour. Here I am trying. But it's hard to with these brushes and I'm not about to like buy a specific brush just for nose contouring. I'm lazy. Like I know they make nose contouring brushes, but I'm a lazy bitch. And if you have like an uneven ass nose like mine, love yourself ladies. Wait, you know what? I like to go fucking crazy on highlights, so I might as well go crazy. So I'm gonna use, oh, I guess these all have shade names, don't they? Oh, guess what the shade names are. Highlight one, highlight two, contour one, contour two. Okay, so I don't feel that bad for forgetting to name them. I'm going to dip into highlight one. I will say these highlighters have so much fucking fallout. This palette, I really, really, really like. I just wish her second contour shade wasn't so, like, red. Let me literally show you the difference. You probably can't even fucking tell. Yes, I have crooked fingers. Get over it. But see, like, this is the contour I use. It doesn't look that different, but it's, like, red, man. So we got our first round of highlighter on. <laughs> now I'm going to use for any other palette besides the cup. I was gonna say Kat Von D. Kim Kardashian palette, or for any other like highlighting, contouring purposes, I like to use the Kat Von D Shade and Light brush. Use also this glow kit. I forgot about this one. I have not used this one. At playlist, I was using the fuck out of my Jaclyn Hill one. I think I'm gonna use the Sun Dipped Glow Kit. I'm gonna use Moonstone. It's like this nice pinky one. I love this tourmaline one, but it's like one of those ones that's not like an everyday. At least for my skin tone. Like it's for a more dramatic look you feel. I'm going crazy with highlight. Now it looks like I have a unibrow of sweat. Do you see that? <laughs> Living for it. It's called fashion. Look it up. Something that I love to do, and I'm going to do it, is I'm going to go in with the contour side of this brush, and I'm going to go into bronze. This shit's way too dark for me to ever actually use as a highlight. So sometimes I like to go over my contour with it. Ooh. So now 
I'm gonna redo what I did with this liner just because when I buff out my concealer it tends to kind of fuck it up but I do like to have it there in the first place I don't know I'm weird like that it gives you a nice pop oh I love it I'm so glad I found these I think it was at like CVS or Walgreens or something wherever they fucking sell NYX so that just got in my eye no before I ever really got into makeup I used to buy the Sephora eyeliners they're like very thin they're not liquid they had like a baby blue baby pink and like a white I used to just use those and like wear mascara and that would be it and I remember one time uh, I went to like the MAC cosmetics place I don't know what you call it and this guy was like oh I love like what you're wearing on your waterline like what is it and I this is before like I said I was in any type of makeup and this guy was like looking flawless with all of his makeup on and I was like so flattered like that was literally beginning of 2015 and I was like Oh my god, thank you. Like, inside, like, screaming because this guy who just looked snatched complimented my waterline, but then also he might have just wanted me to buy something. I'm gonna set my face one more time because I'm the most extra bitch on earth and I can't believe I didn't fucking close this. I do have to say, I forgot to mention this while I was putting it on, but I was thinking it. This shit, I love the applicator, how it's like a fucking like drop thing. I know you're supposed to like drop it onto your hand and like do things with it because I watched like the video on Sephora's website. I literally just, as you saw, just went boop. Boop, boop. I just love the applicator because with the Fenty Beauty, you gotta squirt it out and I've had it like squirt and like get on my shirt or like get on the floor. I hate pump applicators, man. I'm looking in the mirror and I need to kind of bring this eyeshadow up a little. Also, does anyone have like one area of their face or of their eye that does not take pigment for the life of them? Because there's this one area on my left eye. It has nothing to do with the primer, how much primer I put on or like anything. It just you really need to work to get pigment there and I'm just like Lipstick time. I don't even know what I want to wear since this is like a video where I'm talking about makeup I'm just gonna show you guys a few of my favorite things that I found recently. This is a moisturizer You can find it at Sephora. It's by Corez K-O-R-R-E-S. It's called the wild rose smoothie brightening priming moisturizer I have used this as a primer. It can be used as a primer if you really want like that extra kick of moisture This is the Caudalie uh, hand and nail cream if you're like me and your hands are always dry as shit Okay, you can't even see it or if you fuck with your nails constantly Constantly like me come on. Oh, there we go. I would totally recommend this. I love Cladali. What else do I fucking adore by them? This is literally turning into like a makeup haul. I'm sorry, but this is the Vinosaurus Cream Sorbet. This fucking little ass tube is $40. I got it as a sample once and I was like, I kind of need that. It's everything. First of all, it smells amazing. It goes on so well. It's so expensive though. And that's a plane, isn't it? Shut up. This is by First Aid Beauty. It's just a skin rescue purifying mask with red clay. Face mask. If you're like me and I suffer from the occasional breakout, I would recommend it. First Aid Beauty is just absolutely amazing. Everyone that I know who has ever tried it is obsessed and won't even stray away because it's that amazing. I used to have their face wash, but then it exploded in my suitcase, bubbling like rabies, literally like from within, like So I kind of have it. I don't even know where it is. I don't know what lip I'm gonna wear today if I'm gonna keep it 100. I'm just gonna tell you my favorite fucking lip recently. This is the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color, but this is like the metallic one. And this is in the shade Quartzette. I've been wearing this all the time. I don't know what I wanna wear. I think I'm going to wear this by ColourPop. It's the shade 951. This is their Ultra Satin Lip. I haven't tried this on yet. Ooh. She feared. No, I'm kidding. I don't know. I was gonna say she pretty, but then like she feared. came out instead because it's more fun to say. I'm so scared to mess this up because ColourPop stays on. Also, if you're like me with your uneven ass lips, it's hard to apply really anything on your lips. You gotta try to make them look semi fucking equal. Just remember kids, all lips were created equal. Ooh, oh my God, that reminds me. Let me just put this on, oh my God. Does that look semi-equal? Mm, I feel like this looks fucked up. What I was going to say is that reminds me, um, the day before playlist started, which was on Friday, Taylor and I went to Disney World. We went to the Hall of Presidents exhibit and Taylor says wig all the time. She'll be like, oh my God, wig. Or she'll be like, my wig is fucking, you know, cremated, decimated, incinerated. Like my wig is fucking on a flight to Tokyo right now. You know, like stuff like that. You go to like a presentation in the Hall of Presidents and there was this huge projection that 
that said we the people and Taylor goes wig the people and we were sitting front row and there were like all of these like older people around us who were coming to see this show and like learn about American history and we're just like laughing our asses off <laughs> benefit roller lash is my shit it's the easiest to apply on the bottom lashes because the applicator is so tiny I always fuck up on the bottom lashes if I use anything but this so I have learned this. <laughs> All right, my friends, that is how you fool people into thinking that you ain't ugly. <laughs> I've got to fix my hair. But thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Like, if you hated this, feel free to fucking let a bitch know. Comment, let me know if there are any products that I used that you are obsessed with, living for, that you use yourself. Oh, also, if you really give a fuck about what lashes I'm wearing, I got, like, them in a multi-pack. They're just RD wispies. That is it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye.